Hey, this is John with Rocky Mountain Unmanned Systems, and today we're going to be discussing just a little bit about the difference between a 9 hertz camera and a 30 hertz camera on the XT uh, systems. So the XT comes out with two main resolutions, 640 and 336. That is how many pixels you have across, and then 640 has 512 down. But the big question that we always get is the difference between 30 hertz and 9 hertz. So we want to discuss that today on why that may make a difference between your jobs that you're doing. Maybe there's, a, again, some regulation which goes on. ITAR regulation is what they call that, and why that would be important to uh, address that. We have a mission flying right now to do some flight comparison video uh, to show you that between the 9 hertz, which is on the left side here, we can see as we're moving along that we have a little bit of a stutter in the, in the screen. And on the right-hand side, we have the 30 hertz running. On the 30 hertz, we can see it a little bit smoother. In video, this might make a difference when you're trying to find or do some things as, as far as the, the transmission coming back. But when we do evaluation with taking pictures, that is ill relative because pictures themselves don't care whether or not we're doing a 9 hertz or a 30 hertz. So even though it's running the mission and doing video, we can do a mission and do pictures and we can use both data sets. It doesn't matter between a 9 and a 30. Those are, are very similar, if not exactly identical. So one of the biggest reasons why to choose a 9 hertz over a 30 is the big one is, is being able to ship this if you have work that you're doing outside of the country. It is an ITAR regulated item, the XT itself. Also the FLIR Views and the FLIR View Pros. Those are ITAR regulated systems. They cannot be distributed outside of the United States. In some cases, we cannot work with them outside of the United States. So if you're going to be doing anything in which you need to capture thermal video with one of these cameras, you want to make sure that you have a 9 hertz version. From there, we can, we can go out and capture the data. We can see the data if we're doing search and rescue or anything like that. Um, there's some ways to work around how that image might be coming in. But as far as what you see coming in on the screen, um, how to work with the actual image, not much different. So if you have any questions on using a 9 hertz versus a 30 hertz, please get us some information there to uh, Rocky Mountain Unmanned Systems and we'll be happy to help you out.